So hi, hello everyone. Welcome to Terra Special. In this video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to symbolize polygon layer in QGIS. So as you can see here, these are these are my polygon layers. So let us see how to symbolize the polygon layers, how to change the colors, etc. So now right click on this uh, polygon layer and go to the option properties. And at the top, you can find the option information, source and uh, below that you can find the option symbology select symbology here we are going to focus on single symbology and now you can see here you can see that we can fix some colors for this polygon so you can uh, easily pick or choose any colors you can increase the intensity of the color decrease the intensity of the color as well as you can uh, use choose colors option where you have given four options from here you can uh, choose the colors once again you can reduce the uh, reduce or uh, increase or decrease the color intensity you can choose like this you can use the next option where you can uh, first select the color you can control the intensity level likewise you can select otherwise you can use the third option where you will be having a uh, new layer colors you can select from recent colors and uh, standard colors likewise you can use otherwise you can directly use the color picker you can uh, use this hit the button sample collector sample color and uh, you can from from the screen you can pick any any sort of colors that can be used like this so like this you can pick up the color and you can see here opacity here uh, it uh, uses us to reduces reduce the transparency of the layer for example it was previously there in 100 so now i'm reducing to 50 you can, you might be seeing the difference the uh, the layer beneath it is being visible if you reduce it uh, much more you can see the difference the transparency has been reduced and the underneath layer can be easily visible so let me bring it back to the normal position so here after that you can see colorful by clicking on this uh, arrow you can see a lot of uh, options are available for example favorites you can use the favorite color like this apply it you can go for colorful or you can find colorful uh, shades colors and if you select the grayscale where you can have the different uh, pattern and uh, shades of gray different shades of gray likewise you can select like this you can do it you do also have showcase where uh, you can see different shops of uh, sorts of uh, symbology can be chosen finally topology where uh, a few uh, things are being given so for example topo building forest swamp topo urban land and etc so let me bring it to the all symbology and let me choose an outline black color now you can see that uh, will be going in depth in the option in the top you can find the option simple line just click on the simple line after clicking on the simple line you can find few options are uh, down here you can choose the color for the outline if you want it in green color you can choose it apply it you can see here you can increase the stroke with the outline uh, width for example if you want it in let me make it as two you can see the line thickness has been increased let me apply it you can see the difference over here likewise you can do you can uh, uh, select the stroke style where you can use the dash line dot line dash dot line likewise you can do here you can use the join style so if you want it a uh, round or if you want it uh, in uh, be well or meter. So
so I am using round just for example and finally you can see the cap style where you can uh, at the end of the point or polygon you can uh, choose the for example if you are having a line at the end you can have it in square or you can have it in flat or you can have it in round likewise you can select and also you can uh, use the custom dash pattern where you can uh, increase or decrease the pattern so let me keep it 50 you can see the variation likewise you can change the symbology so next we see some more options in this so let me bring it back to the normal uh, now you can see here centroid fill so what happens is that uh, the symbol uh, symbology layer type central uh, central fill so the drawer makes us on every part of the multi part features for example let me show you here you can see here so it has been converted to a point as you can see over here force placement of marks inside the polygon let me apply it you can see that sometimes it won't be changing so that's why they are using the force placement marker inside the polygon and if you go to the next option geometry generator you can use a different uh, for example you can use a point you can see here you can apply it if you want you can use this or if you want it in line you can use the outline as a line you can see it has been the outline has been converted to a line for visualization likewise you can do next is gradient fill so you can see the gradient fill you can use uh, two colors for example let me show you this is dark blue and let me choose another color and you can see the gradient so the gradient uh, here the dark blue's gradient is higher it has been reduced from here and you can see the conversion for conversion colors so two colors can be used and you can also use the color ramp where you can have multiple colors like this you can have a multiple colors you can use it in this manner if you want it you can also invert the colors you can invert the colors likewise you can do and we next move on to the line pa line fill you can see here we have chosen the line fill I am applying it you can see inside the polygon the line has been given uh, if you want the want to increase the spacing or decrease the spacing you, you can do it uh, let me keep it as one you can see the spacing so it has been uh, closely packed up if you want you can rotate this uh, lines let me put it to 23 degree and apply it you can see here sorry I have a chosen yeah a chosen offset so I'm not interested in offset let me choose the rotation 20 degrees apply it you can see that the angle of the line has been changed so likewise you can go for point pattern fill you can see point pattern fill random marker fill You can put the number of uh, point counts here. If you want, you can put 100. You can see that. Raster, if you want, you can you, you can insert the raster image from this uh, 
browse browse the feature svg fill you can use svg fill where you can uh, have uh, for example lot of uh, things are available landmark you can use any sort of things money shopping services sports like this you can use let me apply the apply it and let me increase the texture width to 2 you can see over here as well as you can see if I increase the texture width you can clearly see what we have chosen is this and you can see here let me apply it likewise you can create it differently you can choose from any of this uh, SVG symbol amenities likewise anything you can choose from here let me select this one yeah. if you want you can rotate it also you can change the colors here So of me, no, I think for this the colors cannot be changed. So for the rest of the feature, I think the color uh, you can pick up the color. This is for stroke color. This is for fill color. you can see here likewise you can change so next you can see the shape burst fill so you can see uh, for example you can use two colors here you can use the dark blue and another option you can use the light blue you can see the difference if you want to add the outline you can add an outline you just have to add the another symbol layer and in that we are going to specify it as line pattern you can just see here like this you can do or if you don't want it you can just remove it You can also use the color ramp as shown previously you can use color ramps here also like this you can do you can use a simple fill all simple fill is nothing but you can uh, you can use this sort of uh, things where you can choose the fill color uh, fill uh, style if you want it uh, solid or if you want it uh, dense or dense six like this you can choose let me apply it you can see like this you can do stroke color if you want to change the stroke color you can change it like this you can increase the stroke width you can increase the stroke width outline arrow here you can see the outline arrow like this you can do you can change single or you can reverse the arrow you can double the arrow likewise so you can also use the interpolated line let me show you that instead of single we can select varying and pick up any color schemes from the color ramp likewise you can do so let me bring it back to the simple and now show you the interpolated line varying color
so likewise you can do if you want you can increase the width and you can also use the marker line so you can see here let me apply it you can use a marker line you can uh, increase or decrease the interval like this you can increase or decrease the interval outline simple line so you can see here you can see the changes by clicking on the top you can select some more uh, colors so which I, which I have shown you previously so likewise you can uh, customize the symbology for the polygon layer so if you have any doubts in this please do ask in the comment section i will be answering to your questions thanks for watching Terra special goodbye everyone